Welcome to Shikara AS Academy, Subject Geography, Day 27, Topic Mineral and Energy Resources in Telangana, Mineral and Energy Resources in Telangana, Okay, the topic is both mineral as well as energy resources in Telangana, See the question, What are the available energy resources? What are the available energy resources in Telangana state? Okay, we are not talking about the mineral resources, we are talking about the energy resources. The question is asking to write the answer regarding energy resources. Okay, Telangana, a state in southern India. Telangana, a state in southern India, possess several energy resources. It possess several energy resources. It means that the Telangana state is having several energy resources. And what type of energy resources? Both conventional as well as renewable resources. Both conventional as well as energy resources. Here, some of the key energy resources in the state are, the first one is coal. The first one is coal. Telangana has largest deposits of coal among all south indian state okay telangana is having the coal reserves but the, these coal reserves are largest deposits of largest deposits in south indian state where in the south indian state okay it has coal reserves of 11,849 million tons in Godavari Valley of Telangana where all these coal reserves are there in the Telangana state in the Telangana state the coal reserves are there okay near the valley of Godavari near the valley of Godavari it extended into the areas like Manchirial, Peddapalli, Jaishankar, Kumaram Beam Asifabad, Khammam and Badradri Kottagudam districts account for these reserves. Okay. And there is one nodal agency which is exploring the coal reserves in the Telangana state. That nodal agency is Singareni Collieries. That nodal agency is Singareni Collieries. This Singareni Collieries Company Limited is a public sector undertaking. It is the primary coal mining corporation in Telangana. It is primary coal mining corporation in Telangana. And the Singareni Collieries is second largest coal producer in India. Second is Singareni Collieries considered as second largest coal producer in India. Okay. And recently there is one power corporation called as NTPC. This NTPC stands for National Thermal Power Corporation. He is trying to develop floating solar park floating solar park of 100 megawatts at the place called as Ramagundam at the place called as Ramagundam the installed capacity the installed capacity of power in Telangana is 18,069 megawatts the total installed capacity of power in the state of Telangana is 18,069 okay but the thermal capacity constitutes the thermal energy, the energy which is producing from burning of coal. Such type of energy is called as thermal energy. What do you mean by thermal energy? By using of coal, we are producing the energy. Such type of energy is called as thermal energy. This thermal energy constitutes more than half of the share. More than half of the share. Nothing but around 41% is sourced from renewable energy. Okay, student, this 18,069 megawatts, 10,489 megawatts of energy is coming from one source, that only one source is thermal energy. Okay, this is the thermal energy. And 41% of the energy in the Telangana is coming from renewable energy and nuclear energy. Okay, this is about the renewable energy and coal. Okay, the next one is hydroelectric energy. Okay, we are done with the coal. The next one is hydroelectric energy. What do you mean by hydroelectric energy or hydroelectric power? Nothing but by using of water. By using of water, 
if we are generating the energy such type of energy is known as hydroelectric energy okay we will discuss about the hydroelectric power telangana has several small and medium sized hydroelectric power projects telangana is having small as well as medium sized hydroelectricity power projects these projects utilize the water indanke cheppan kada the literal meaning of hydro is nothing but water okay this water is using generating the electricity such type of electricity is known as hydroelectricity okay these projects utilize the water resources available in the rivers and streams to generate the electricity some of the notable ele hydroelectricity power stations in telangana are sri salem nagarjun sagar jurala hydroelectric projects okay hydroelectricity ekkani chustundi ante these are coming from the rivers okay on this rivers we are we constructed some dams by using of this dam water the telangana government is generating certain amount of hydroelectric power the important dams which are generating hydroelectric power in telangana are sri salem nagarjun sagar jurala hydroelectric projects the next one is natural gas by using of natural gas also the telangana government is generating electricity the, the state of telangana also has natural gas reserves the state of telangana also have natural gas reserves although they are relatively smaller although they are relatively smaller compared to other energy resources natural gas is primarily used for industrial purposes the natural gas is primarily used for industrial purposes this is about the natural gas the next one is solar power the next one is solar power okay telangana has abundant sunlight telangana has abundant sunlight throughout the year making it suitable for solar power generation telangana lo sunlight ekku sunlight anedi ekku ga vastund antandi ee sunlight valla manu em em cheyagalutamu ante we will generate the power whenever we are generating the power by using of sunlight such type of power is called as solar power such type of power is called as solar power the state government has been actively promoting solar energy through various policies and initiatives the state government which state government the telangana state government has been actively promoting solar energy through various policies and initiatives okay there are several solar power projects including including solar parks and rooftop installations okay telangana state lo solar power projects unnai atandi this solar power projects include solar parks ante oka area ni iskoni solar panels ni install cheyadam ila solar panels ni install chesam ani install chesina tarvata we will generate the solar energy as well as rooftop installations rooftop installations basic ga small example ivvali ante rooftop ante enti ante man inti paine solar panels ni pettukodam have been implemented to harness the solar energy potential okay the telangana has total installed capacity 4 gigawatts of renewable energy the solar power comes under the renewable energy okay telangana has total installed capacity of 4 gigawatts of renewable energy power including solar energy ee solar energy ni enta produce chestunnaru ante 3621 megawatts 3621 megawatts and wind energy of 128 megawatts wind energy of 128 megawatts and the next one is wind power certain regions of telangana have favorable wind conditions certain regions in telangana have favorable wind conditions particularly in the north and north western part of the state for example north northern side north western side of telangana is suitable for generation of wind power okay 
certain regions of Telangana have favorable wind conditions, particularly in the northern and northeastern parts of state. Okay, this is about the wind power. The last one is biomass. The last one is biomass. Biomass resources such as agricultural residues, nothing but agricultural waste and also organic waste as well as forestry residues are available in Telangana. Okay, biomass resources and TNT and agricultural waste as well as organic waste as well as forestry residues are available in the state of Telangana. Biomass based power plants and biomass gasification projects have been implemented to utilize the resources for electricity generation. Electricity generation. Okay. This is about the energy resources. Okay. The Telangana energy landscape is evolving with increasing emphasis on renewable energy sources to meet growing energy demands while reducing the carbon emissions and dependence on fossil fuels. Telangana government is concentrating on renewable resources. Why Telangana government is concentrating on renewable resources? The reason is to reduce the global warming. To reduce the global warming. For example, thermal energy in produce ali and we have to burn the coal. Whenever we are burning the coal, it releases certain amount of gases which creates global warming. Okay. In order to reduce the global warming, Telangana government is concentrating on renewable energy resources. Renewable energy resources. The state government continues to encourage investments in renewable energy resources projects through various incentives and policies. Various incentives and policies. Thank you.